bath salt. And then I'm done. Now the last thing I'll do too, the last thing I have to do is tell you, um, so I first saw Susan's products via my friend Sarah, because I like the uh, beeswax products. I love Burt's Bees, but they cost too much. And I don't buy Burt's Bees anymore, because I buy from Susan. And Sarah made some homemade lavender beeswax pomade for me. It's something that I can put on my entire body. I put it on my hair, my skin, everywhere. So this is a small sample of the beeswax product, and Susan will tell you all about it. But this is what I do. Now, oh, this is perfect. So I can take the towel off my head now. <laughs> okay. I'll leave this here. I get so excited about your products, I get nervous. Okay, so let's say you're having a bad hair day. I, I did one day when I went to my friend Sarah's house. I said, honey, do you have any pomade? I need pomade for my hair. She goes, no, but I have this beeswax stuff that a friend made for me that's a relaxation um, lavender beeswax uh, lotion. I said, great. I went in her bathroom. I put my little finger in that glass jar. Ooh, I took that stuff out and I'm like this. Wow. All the flyaway hairs under control. You don't need Alberto V05, okay? You don't need to spend a lot of money in the store to buy Paul Mitchell products or um, even the lower brands that are uh, less expensive swap because this product that Susan makes, it's a multi-purpose product. It's made from local beeswax. It's made with all these great ingredients such as grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil does not clog your pores, so that's a great ingredient to have listed right after the beeswax. Olive and sunflower oils, cornstarch, eucalyptus, lavender, and lemongrass essential oils. So now I'm going to tell you what I put in your bath salts, and I'm done. So I had 12 pounds of Epsom salt to work with today because I was expecting 40 people. I used Tazo Passion Tea infused in grapeseed oil because I wanted the crystals to be a little bit pink and I wanted to use a natural colorant, so working with the tea was fun. I have lemongrass, organic lemongrass. I have organic Spanish lavender. Now you know that lavender is wonderful for its healing properties, for relaxation. I have organic lemon balm that I grew in my garden, dry. I have southern organic chocolate peppermint and regular peppermint that I got from my dear friend Zorin in Laurel, Maryland. I have Gong Gardens organic Thai basil. I have organic dried lavender from the local area. I have grapeseed oil, lemon balm oil, almond oil, lavender oil, tea tree oil, um, the bergamot oil, and I have various dried flowers. I've been saving dried flowers for, from the summer to this point on for the curative properties when they're um, abrading your skin slightly. You're sloughing off dead skin cells that need to come off the top surface so the healthier, fresh ones can come through. And with all the different essential oils, you're moisturizing your skin. So when you're feeling tired, worn out, cold from this uh, long, cold winter, what you got to do is use one of our bath salts, lay back and relax, have a little glass of wine in there, some honey and tea, a little bit of beer, whatever you would like to drink while you're taking a bath. Turn on a little music, little candle lights. Let your worries roll off your back, down your legs, off your feet. And then once you come out of your um, organic bath salt, herbal bath salt bath, all you got to do is lightly towel off because you want the oils to still remain on the surface of your skin. Put your pajamas on, go to bed, you're gonna dream of angels and you're gonna feel great. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's quite an act to follow. Um, <laughs> You're my awesome. name is Susan Egan. Uh, my name, Little Susie Homemaker, actually came from my family, my friends. Um, I taught full time, uh, 40 hours a week. Actually, when I sat down and looked at it, I worked 70 hours a week. I came home. My husband and I, we own a, uh, we're partnership in a beef farm, which is in Forestville. Um, and our business partner took ill. He had a pulmonary embolism. Uh, <laughs> So my husband didn't have a paycheck for two weeks. I was working full time, stressing out, 
if anybody's been around teachers lately, they're not very happy. <laughs> and I like to smile. Um, my husband also threw his shoulder out that same month, get a call at school. I was doing chores. <laughs> I was working 70 hours a week and raising a 12-year-old and a 14-year-old. Um, at this point, I, I kind of took a break. And uh, one thing that Carmen had talked about is aromatherapy. If anybody hasn't, um, this kind of helped me. Uh, I had never heard of essential oils before. I kind of did. You hear a lot of different things. I mean, I bought beauty products. I had to get dressed, put makeup on, get myself presentable, and go to school and look beautiful and keep everything together. <laughs> and it's a hard job. So I started with doing aromatherapy. I had a little diffuser. Um, and I'd come home, I'd write up my lesson plans, I'd do other things, cook dinner. And I could not believe that little oils and scents in the air, our, our sense of smell is our strongest memory um, thing. And as I started to look at it, I'm like, wow, this stuff is awesome. How did I never know about it? And then I started to put it into body care things because, all right, I decided, honey, I need to take a break. We love the farm. I love my family. I love what I was doing. Um, I needed to make some tough decisions in my life. I stopped working full time. I took a medical leave. I decided I'm not going to go back. I'm a smart girl. I have my master's degree. I'm going to keep on going and doing what I love, taking care of my family, taking care of myself, and making sure we are all healthy, happy, and feeling good. Um, so this was my entry to this. My first Christmas I decided I cannot afford Christmas with not teaching. How am I going to afford Christmas? So I made my beeswax lotion because I work the farmers markets all summer long. I work, I now work um, probably 40 hours a week. I do the books for our farm. I go to do the farmer's markets up in Buffalo. I also prepare things and do here. I, I manage it, but it's at my pace and at my decisions and my will. Um, and I love, I had to listen to my family and hear them say, these things are really neat. You need to sell them and you need to do this. So. I had local beeswax. I knew what things I liked. I loved the aromatherapy things. So my first, my first gift to my family were my natural laundry soap, which when you make it, you use a tablespoon. This saved me probably, and I sat down to figure out the budget. By making my own laundry soap, I saved myself $300 within the year. I don't need a fabric softener, I don't need other things. It was something that I could do. So it saved me money, my parents loved it. <laughs> I make it for them. Um, the beeswax lotion is something I do. I made a list of things that I wanted to try and do. And I, what I noticed is, um, I don't know if you guys have ever been a story of stuff. Have you, have you ever watched that video, The Story of Stuff? Um, okay. I read the book. You read the book. The woman is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, from her website, I went to the story of cosmetics. Mm. And you print this off, and it tells you. And I was just amazed. I couldn't, you know, I was like, okay, I'm not going to do my makeup, but I, I'm like, I still need lip gloss. I still need certain things. Well, this story of cosmetics also goes through about the ugly truths behind the cosmetic industry. And there are a lot of chemicals put into your body care products that are okay. Yeah, they say that they're okay. I don't know if they are. But honestly, I went, I went and I looked at my budget. I looked at all the things that I used in my cupboard. And I made a decision I'm going to go back to the basics. If it doesn't come from nature, why use it? Why use it? If it hasn't been made or created, I mean, I have the benefit of raising our own animals. I know that I'm feeding my family good meat because I raised them. I know what we fed them. I know that they live off the land. I raise my own fruits and vegetables. I can, those kinds of things. If it comes from the environment, it's got to be healthy. I mean, if, if it comes from nature, it had to be created for some reason. So I started to look at the materials that I used in a lot of my body care products and 
I make lip gloss, I make other things. The other thing that I started this summer, and I tried it on all the softball girls, a natural insect repair.